Hi, you're watching Muriel's Mini Obsession, and I have a video for you. So today I have for you the I Love You Forever Cruella inspired doll. And I'm really excited to have her. She uh, was the subject of a little bit of controversy if you saw my previous uh, videos on these dolls. Um, I wasn't really thrilled, uh, with the concept and the stock images that were leaked at that time. Um, they previously had a blonde doll with, like, these bleach blonde streaks in the front. And that was not doing it for me. Um, so I'm really excited they decided to go to different direction with the doll herself. So I'm going to go ahead and get her opened up and then we can talk more about it. Everything is out of the box and so as I mentioned they were originally gonna go with a blonde light-skinned character uh, for the Cruella doll and I don't know it just I wasn't really thrilled with their choice it just didn't look great to me I think that especially the contrast between the darker brown hair with the light kind of bleach blonde streaks it's just such a better <clears throat> look better contrast for this doll theme um i do want to point out that the character that they chose is the same the same model that they used for the retro reimagined mickey and minnie doll so, and their face-ups are, are nearly identical, really. Um, so the only difference we're really getting here is the hair. Um, so that might be a factor for you if you're considering whether to get this doll or not. <clears throat> as far as her outfit goes, um, you know, I'm not opposed to houndstooth. I think it can look really fun. Uh, but I don't love the material that they used for this coat. It's just kind of, um, I, you know, it doesn't feel nice. It's not soft. It's kind of a scratchy feeling almost. Um, and it's kind of thin. It doesn't feel like a nice coat material. And I understand that it would have been a lot to make this coat out of a coat material and also have this big fuzzy red top underneath it. Like that's just a lot of bulk, but also I don't understand the fuzzy red top. I'm, I'm not feeling it at all. Um, so I, you know, the pants, the pants are okay. Like I feel like we could reuse these pants, uh, with a different outfit and they could be cute. And I do really like her shoes. So since she is a Jack Pacific, um, I Love You Forever doll, as opposed to the ones made by Disney, she does actually come with a second outfit, which I'm very happy about because I'm not crazy about the first one. And also, instead of the surprise treat, she comes with this sparkly... Mickey earring, which, you know, I've said before, I think I'd rather have the surprise treat, but these are also fun. And I do like having the second outfit. Um, I think this skirt is really cute. It's um, kind of a pleather material, but it does feel nice and soft. Um, and it has the effect of like a real fabric, not like a shiny pleather, if that makes sense. Um, there, there's some texture to it. 
don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's there. And then her second top, I also think it's pretty cute. It's got kind of an interesting neckline design going on there. So I'm going to put that on her um, in a little bit. But I do want to go over her accessories first. So she's got two purses. This one, which has a Dalmatian print. And it's got the initial CV for Cruella DeVille. Actually, DeVille. Hmm. Now I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> anyway, um, the one thing I think is interesting is like the strap on here. It's also plastic. But it does actually feel like it's been attached in a way where it's movable. So I actually like that. It's a small detail, but it's thoughtful. And then her other, her second purse is um, just like a small kind of handbag. It says Cruella. Does this open? Oh, okay. Technically, it can open, although I don't think... It's the most practical to be opening and closing it. It feels like it could break if you did that too much. Um, but it is cute. She also comes with a necklace that looks um, sort of like an eye or something. Uh, her second pair of shoes are these little white booties that are quite cute as well. With some interesting seam lines there. And lastly, she also comes with these red sort of cat eye sunglasses that are very striking. So I'm going to go ahead and change her into her second outfit and stand her up so you can see that. So here she is in her second outfit. I think she looks really cute. But what do you guys think of her? Will you be buying her? Or is she not your thing? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. See you next time.